This news courtesy of RA. London's Lider Festival books Arca, DJ Harvey and John Glacier for a debut edition. Really interesting festival happening, right? In Victoria Park. Now, I have to warn you, those of you who are excited by me and myself included seeing the names of DJ Harvey and Arca headlining, um, Victoria Park festivals are known for their horrendous sound, horrendous volume. Look, Victoria Park is legitimately in the middle of a residential area, houses all around it on either side, on every side of the park. So for the most part, they are limited with how high the volume can go. And from my experience of going to festivals or events in that park, the volume is always shoddy. The sound is shoddy. You have to literally go right to the front to hear anything. So if you are getting excited, get excited, but also know that it's not going to be what you think it's going to be, you know, like bed hat in mind. Scenery is great. Locally, if you live around the area, it's going to be fantastic to pop in and see those acts performing. You'd have to have a background. It's going to be good for the socials, but experience wise i think it's going to be a bit shit i can just call it now from the outset i could be wrong but that's what i remember from my time going to festivals in Victoria parks so let's read the blurb a new london festival has announced a new name for the debut edition taking place at victoria park across two weekends lido festival has booked arca dj harvey john glacier sampha romy from xx panda bear jamie xx wookie dj gigola shy one and live wu-tang that's a weird lineup of names, isn't it? That's the most random names for a festival in London that I've ever heard in my entire life. What the? What is the reason behind booking these people? Arca, DJ, uh, like, have you ever seen a lineup with DJ Harvey and Jamie XX? <laughs> like, what? I feel like I've seen maybe a lineup that has Sampha, Romy, Panda Bear, and Jamie XX, maybe, but Wookie, Arca, huh? Really? Okay. Lido has been launched by AEG Presents, a global entertainment brand that all already re responsible for a handful of UK festivals, including All Points Eats Forward, Country to Country, to replace Phil Day. This is going to replace Phil Day. What a weird lineup. So there's not going to be any bands or anything, just those people. It replaces Phil Day, a long-standing Victoria Park festival that announces migration to South London's Brockwell Park early this year. So Phil Day is no more. This is in the place of Phil Day's dates. I've got a feeling, I've got a feeling, AEG Presents are probably tied in with some sort of booking agency that represents all of these artists, and more than likely, these artists don't have anything in their calendar for June, so they just make up a festival, and they book those artists who don't have bookings yet for June in this festival. And if something changes, they can obviously fill other people in, but that's what they do. I've got a feeling. I don't think this is like somebody making a festival. This is like a, an agency a management company, whatever they are, global, a global entertainment brand who's in cahoots with a booking agency who has people on the list, on their, you know, artist roster who haven't got bookings yet. Hey, here's people that you can put on this and you just put them on there. Because this feels so random. This makes no sense. No sense whatsoever. I don't get it in the slightest. Like, what the fuck are these people on a wine lineup? John Glacier, Arca, Sanfa, Romy, Pat, like, who? So random. Like, Wow. Okay. Interesting name. Interesting lineup of names. But yeah, big up um, Lido. Let's see what happens when it does pop off in June. Promoting raves or festivals in June in November. Or October, sorry. Kind of depressing, but hey, it is what it is. It is what it is. A really good initiative here, here courtesy of RA. Soup Manchester debuts new campaign aimed at next generation of promoters. Pretty good. Pretty good. Applications for the scheme, which invites young um, area promoters to present proposals for Soup's Thursday night program, closed November 20th. Manchester Club Soup is fielding applications for a new program aimed at nurturing the next generation of promoters in the city. A collaborative effort with Absolute, the campaign invites young promoters in the area to present proposals for potential Thursday night programming at Soup. Through the scheme, Soup hopes to expand its weeknight lineups while catering to a wider community of regular visitors. Applicants um, close applications are closed on November twentieth. Before throwing events with Soup, the only relative experience. Um, we had was between hosting university flat parties said david abeji who debuted his club night como coma coma uh, oto last year at soup um, our vision for a club night were ambitious yet raw but the help of soup we were able to grow quickly into the role of local promoter being generously taught the necessary steps and ethics to host a successful night um, see the announcement and apply for the program below 
pretty pretty cool so definitely make sure you get involved in that one um i love the idea of having a program or a competition for kids to do events on a thursday i feel like that's also a really good test of your promotion or programming abilities because usually thursday nights are not the most busiest nights people tend not to go out so you actually have to try to kind of you know put together an event that would make people want to leave their houses their flats their dorms on a thursday to go and rave at the best way to do that is obviously probably nature nurturing young up becoming talent and shit and getting them to kind of do some bits out there so i think this is a really cool idea a really fucking cool idea and i think it's definitely gonna work to bolster the local scene and get kids out there and get them fucking pumped for some of the new people who are playing as well so I, I like it i really fucking like it i think this is a good way to do things I, I wish there was more of this with more clubs i think a lot of clubs tend to just not bother even opening on thursdays but i remember back in the day when i used to rave a lot the mid, mid the midweek events were usually some of the best ones usually because a lot of the weekend warriors weren't about you got to really kind of enjoy yourself in that regard so i think that's a really good way to go about doing things so big up them for doing so big up them for doing so